the world is realities. Doesn't matter what reality you want to talk about. Any reality is created in dichotomy. This is explained in a lot of different ways in a lot of different cultures. Um, the most common one that, that people know about is the yin and yang symbol, right? Mm -hmm. So there's the light and the darkness with the little bit of darkness and light, right? Yeah. So it's like you, there's the shadow side, but in order to fully exist in the shadow side, there has to be a small baseline awareness of the light. Just like on the opposite, there's the light side, but in order to fully understand and comprehend it, there has to be a small awareness of the shadow, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what the yin and yang represents, if you didn't know. Um, in a little bit more modernized explanation, dichotomy, okay? For example, in order for us to conceptualize and understand heat, the opposing force of that is to have cult, right? So that's a dichotomy. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's what helps us understand and di differentiate one reality from another. So in life, we have uh, foundational belief systems, if you will, okay? okay? And on one side, whatever reality it is that we're creating, there's always going to be an opposing reality, whether we're conscious of it or not. Most of the time we're not conscious of it and we exist in the shadow side of it. Um, but you can shift your baseline. So what I would ask for you guys to do today and just consider into your own life, and I'll use an example here that's used with most people because it's really just clear about what I'm talking about baselines and dichotomy. So a foundational baseline is you can live in a reality. We'll use lack mentality because okay. that's a big one, especially right now. So we'll use a lack mentality. On one side of the dichotomy, there's um, I'm really poor. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the other side of that dichotomy is getting by. So this is a foundation. Okay. But let's say you realize like, wait a second, why am I oscillating between really poor and getting by? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, why is that? I don't want to exist in that baseline or that dichotomy. So can I change the baseline? Okay. Well, how about I elevate that to the next phase of getting by to doing well? So yeah. now we're changing the foundational reality of like, no, I'm shifting it up. I'm shifting you. it up a few notches and you can take that even further. Okay. What if I'm doing well to really amazing and you can take it even further and you can keep going and going. So these are baselines. I would ask you to look at your own life and start identifying what are things that you feel a little bit limited by that you're like, I'm, oh, I can't do this anymore. And you know, why am I in this space? Mm -hmm. Now what's really cool. So once you identify, um, these foundational baselines, you can then really look at the dichotomy of it basically and ask yourself, whatever reality I'm existing in is going to create an opposing reality. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Mm -hmm. Where do I want to exist with that? What do I want to be experiencing? I have applied this to my own life, especially in the last like four months. I've been sitting down and asking myself, okay, you know, what are some things that aren't feeling, I'm not feeling empowered with in my own life? And how do I experience those things? Like yeah. what are my what are my baselines that I'm existing between? Do I like that? Does that feel good? <laughs> Most of the time I'm like, what the heck, Annalise? Like, why are you doing that to yourself? And I literally make it a discipline to sit down and be like, that's not anything I want to be experiencing. Yeah. So I'm just going to consciously decide that I can have this foundation to exist between instead. Is that clear? Does that make sense? Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's, a, it's identifying where you were at, mm -hmm. right? And saying, I'm here and I oscillate between here and here. Mm -hmm. And what if I can open up to the possibility mm -hmm. that I could zi exist somewhere else? Yep. And what, where, how would that look and how would that feel? And I like the fact that you take it one step at a time, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like you go from being really poor to being really amazing because the brain, there's so much of a big gap between that that mm -hmm. you might not be able to comprehend. It doesn't mean that you can't get there, but if you go from making, saying, okay, like, I'm, I make $50,000 a year and I'm gonna make a million dollars a year, 
your brain doesn't even know like that's such a disparity it doesn't mean that in a few years or even what whenever you hit that that you couldn't Mm -hmm. and you could get there a lot faster and yes it's possible Mm -hmm. but if you said okay fifty thousand to a hundred thousand could i imagine what that would change in my life it's a little gap yep it's a double gap you know and not a ten time fold gap yeah And that's like also the application of identifying your foundational belief systems because, you know, I I always tell people, I think that there's this misconception that like gratitude and positivity and happiness is like somehow just a natural state. It's not. You have to understand that just as we can conceptualize that the physical body can be really strong and muscular or toned and healthy, you can have that understanding, but unless you show up for it and you create a discipline and eat correctly or exercise or find movement to some level, you're not going to optimize the physical body to like literally optimize it in real time like you would even though you can conceptualize it, right? It's the same thing with the mind. Like you, We all have concept and understanding that you can be happy and feel grateful and have positivity and all these things, but if you're not actively creating some sort of a discipline of like this is what i want to feel experience and think is my daily reality and really sitting down and deciphering just like you would with food right like yeah maybe i shouldn't be eating that or drinking that because those actions are not aligning with the um outcomes the optimization of my physical body that i want to experience if you like this content make sure that you like subscribe and comment below and we also have amazing link right there for some cool product i know you want to check it out i know you want to click it go ahead go ahead come on you can do it all right until next time have a beautiful blessed day